So ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China and I promise you guys I'll come back to Kitale Museum and right now I'm in Kitale Museum at this uh, station. Now I don't know what this station is but we'll be knowing in a few but I have to introduce my guest. You are my guest for today. So ladies and gentlemen, let her introduce herself because they say ladies do it better. So take it away. Hi guys, I'm Ivy Nekesa from Kitalia Museum. Okay. <laughs> we are heading to live exhibition sector. Oh, this is live exhibition. Yeah. So we expect to meet uh, Belgas, Tortoise, Traditional Homestay, homestay Snakebit and Crocodile Pond. Yeah. Okay, we are not here to waste time. Let's dig into it. And this is... <laughs> Say your name. My name is Levi. Levi. Uh, do you love animals? Yes. Uh, which animal do you love? All of them. All of them? Yes. You don't have a favorite? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, I will do less talking. She'll do more talking. I'll just ask questions. Okay. All right. How have you been? I've been good. How's the going? The going is okay. Okay. Everything is awesome. Awesome. So. so here mm -hmm. we have three species mm -hmm. of tortoise. Mm -hmm. It's heavy, I can't carry it. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now this one is called leopard tortoise. Leopard tortoise. Yeah. Okay. That one over there is called the leopard tortoise because it has the spots uh, that appear like the leopard skin or the patterns on the leopard skin, hence the name leopard tortoise. So let her bring the rest and we do comparison with the pancake and what have you. So. And here we have therapy. This is a therapy. Yeah, it's a therapy. Uh -huh. Can and I touch one, it? Yeah. What's the difference between a terrapin and a... This one lives in a fr fresh water lake. This is fresh water? Yeah. Okay. And turtle is for salty water lake. Okay. So it's a terrapin. Yeah, that one is a terrapin. Looks like that. It's a carnivora. Carnivora. So it eats... Here we feed it with omena. Oh, omena. Yeah. Yeah. And I was at a friend's home. Yeah. They had put this... Uh, my friend is called uh, Ayamaru. He put this tortoise with a fish, so it ended up eating the fish. Yeah. yeah. So that's why uh, it's not advisable for you to keep it next to uh, fish. fish and uh, stuff. Yes. All right. And this one is called hingeback. Hingeback. Yeah. It has a joint. Okay. Oh, here. it has a joint here. Yes. So it moves. Yes. Okay. Okay. It has a joint. Okay. Now these two, they are herbivores. Those two are herbivorous. Terrapin and hingeback. No, terrapin. No. Terrapin. Ah. Leopard tortoise, leopard tortoise, leopard tortoise and hingeback. They and are herbivorous. Hingeback tortoise are herbivorous, but for the for the terrapin, terrapin they are carnivorous. They are carnivorous. Yes. Okay, okay. And these two, their lifespan is one hundred and fifty years. One hundred. One hundred and fifty years. One hundred and fifty. Yes. In captivity or even in the wild. Even in the wild. One hundred fifty. One hundred and fifty. That's quite a lot. And so that one, mm -hmm. it's 200 to 300 years. 200 to 300 years. Yeah. So some people might keep it and they end up inheriting yeah. from their parents, their parents' parents, uh, that way. Yeah. Okay. And okay. they lay eggs. This one lay eggs they in water? They both lay eggs, yeah. Also that one lays that. eggs in water uh -huh. and this one in land. Okay. The female ones are the ones who dig. Okay. Then after they have laid eggs, mm -hmm. they put the eggs at that hole, okay. inside that hole. Mm -hmm. Then, after three months, they hatch. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hey, awesome. So we proceed. So that was some brief information about the yeah. tortoise. So tortoise. hingeback tortoise, leopard tortoise, and the terrapin. I'm a good student. I I master the names. <laughs> and now we are heading to to oh. the python. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see what we got on this other end of the 
I normally call it snack park, but here you call it live exhibition. Yes, yeah. because it's small. But we, we have combined. space. We have space around this. We can make a snack park. We can make a snack park here? Yeah. Okay. Now where is this? Maybe we go. So, we want to see the python. Yeah, put it on coffee today. Yeah. Now there we have an African rock python. Over there. Yeah. Maybe we go there. We can see it from a close range. It's an African map. Uh, yeah. Oh, this, this is yeah. the shape of an African, African map. Yeah. Okay. And this African rock python was discovered in western part of Africa. Was discovered in western part of Africa. Yeah. Okay. So this is the shape of Africa. Where yeah. is Madagascar? Madagascar needs to be somewhere here. Yes. Yeah. But well, that's the shape of Africa. So we want to see the python at a closer range. Yeah, here is much better. Over yeah, there. Now there is an African rock python. Yeah. It's non poisonous, mm -hmm. but it's dangerous due to constriction. It yeah. can squeeze you yeah. till but, you die. Yeah. yeah. But you like to use the term non venomous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. non venomous. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. But it's a big one. Yeah, it's five meters long. Five meters? Yes. What? It's five meters long, but here it's 17 years old. This one is 17 years old. Yes. So it's been here for 17 years. Yes. So it has not. Uh, does it have any partner? No. Yeah, in museum solitary. we don't allow them to reproduce. Oh. Yes. Oh my goodness. So it's lonely. And it's the only, the only snake that in Alalia Mayai till oh, it hatches. Oh, it eggs until it hatches. Yes. Okay. Once or twice now? Every two weeks. After every two weeks. Yes. Okay. After every two weeks. Nice. And now we are going to Venomous next. Venomous next. Yes. Over here. Here we have a papada. Papada. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. okay. Uh, Puffadas, mm -hmm. they always puff, mm -hmm. and they are mostly found in dense forests mm -hmm. like Kakamega Forest, mm -hmm. and also you can find it in highland places. Mm -hmm. Like they, they, they always in Indochina Oh, they burrow, they, they yeah. burrow inside <laughs> the sand. The sand, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also in semi desert Yes. Like Pokot okay. region. Yes. They are, so many yeah. people have uh, because they say this Puffada, so many people have. Uh, it's the it is the cause of so many deaths. Yes. So many people sure. get the snake bite from the puffada because it camouflages in the surroundings. So no, not so many people notice it. Yes. And people might not. When they get home, they say, "I stepped on uh, some thorns," but until they they, they were bitten by yeah. this because it's very fast, and then they end up dying. Yes. Yeah. And the uniqueness of puffadas, mm -hmm. they always give birth like human beings. Mm -hmm. They have internal fertilization. Internal fertilization. Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, when they give birth, they give birth to 80 to 90 young ones. 80 to 90? Oh, that's a big, 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 big number. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. all about puffadas. Okay. And Next. it's venom. Yeah. It's hemotos. Hymotoxic and cytotoxic. Hymotoxin and, and cytotoxin. Cyto, yes. What does hymo mean? Hymo means it affects the blood, blood and, and cytosine. Cyto now when you are by you are being bitten by this snake, mm -hmm. you have to tie it okay. so that the venom cannot spread. Okay. okay. Yes. Right. Before you, you find it anti venom. Okay. And now here is the black mamba. The black and mamba. this is the most dangerous snake. Mm -hmm. Black mamba, despite it being called black mamba, uh -huh. it's not black in color. Uh -huh. You identify it using its eyes, uh -huh. and when it's drinking water or when it's, it's eating, uh -huh. the mouth is also black. Okay, yes. so it's the name black, black mamba. mamba. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. And 
this one, it's venom is neurotoxic and cardio. It affects your nerve mm -hmm. and heart. Okay. So you can survive. Your survival will be two to three minutes what? and you are gone. Yes. Black That's Mamba very, dangerous. very dangerous. Yes. Two to three minutes you are gone. And you are gone. So no remedy for... Yes. What? And here we have two black mambas. They, mm -hmm. are, both they are both females. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Oh, both females. Awesome. And here we feed them with chicks. Okay. Yeah. One day all chicks or bigger uh, chicks? Like two weeks. Two weeks? Yes. Okay. Once or twice in a week? Once a week. Once a week. Okay. I wish I was a snake. <laughs> but I have the stomach system of a snake. I just eat once and then I eat later after six months. I will save a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? <laughs> He's smiling. How do you think? Say something. Say something. What do you think of a snake eating maybe once a month? Good. Do you love to have that digestive system? You only eat once a month. Yeah. Why? I love eating. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I love it because if I eat once, I will eat after maybe six months, so I will save a lot of money, and I just pay rent only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And yeah, this, this one is also a pack for them. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's yeah. a big one. This yeah, one. this one is a big one. So over here, it's camouflaged with the rocks. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, that's a big one. Big, yeah. big, big yeah. one. Yes. Now we are moving to Gabon Viper. Gabon Viper. Yes. Gabon Viper. Mm -hmm. They are they are always docile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can't bite you easily. Okay. Unless you step on it. Okay. That's when it will bite you. Mm -hmm. And Gabon Viper, they have the same characteristics mm -hmm. like the buffaloes. Yeah. And Actually, they are, look alike. Yeah, they look alike. Yeah, somebody might think it's just a... Yeah, a but a, this one has a horn. Oh, oh the Gabon Viper has yeah. a horn. Yes. Yeah. But now it's... The, the, the screen is reflecting, you can't see the horn. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I can see it. So it's actually called the rhinoceros Gabon Viper. Yes. Because of those horns. The horns, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. And... Do they also camouflage? Yeah, they camouflage because you can see you, uh, they blend in with the rocks. The rocks here. Yeah. yeah, so you might think it's just rocks. You, you can just come chill, but bes behind, beside you is the Gabon Viper. Gabon Viper. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And actually, it has the longest fangs. I don't know, up to two, have they indicated here? Two point something meters. No, centimeters or millimeters or something. Millimeters. Yeah, actually, the longest. And when it bites you, it yields the most poison. Yes. Or the most venom, so yeah. you end up dying quickly. Yeah. But when you try it, you, yeah. you won't die. Yeah, yeah. Because it's hypotoxic yeah. and cytotoxic. Yeah. 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 That's so big. Maybe you add something on that. <laughs> <laughs> and when you want to identify a male snake and a female snake, mm -hmm. look at its tail. The when tail. it's sharp, mm -hmm. it's a female one. With, when it's thick, it's a male one. When it's sharp, a female, a one. female one. When it's thick, a male. And when it's longer, the tail is longer. When it's longer, but it's, it's thin, it's, it's a female. It's when it's thin long and thin, it's a female. female. When it's thick and short, it's, it's a, a male. male. Yes. And why is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, I don't know. Oh, okay. I, I think it's their nature. It's their like, nature. Yes. Okay. Maybe I think uh, during mating, um, for the male, does not have to be very long, oh. so that it will be receptive on the female, okay. and then the female will be uh, that way for it to complement. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think that's one of the reasons. And it's so big. And why, why the name Gabon viper? Is it because it, it comes from yeah, Gabon? Gabon, yeah. Gabon in, is this in West Africa? Yes, Gabon okay. is in West Africa. West Africa. And here, nothing. Yeah, here we have nothing. Okay. Where are the cobras? We have it next. Oh, the cobra. I was worried. I'm not seeing any cobra. <laughs> <laughs> now here we have the forest cobra. Okay. You know, cobras, they are they're also dangerous like the mambas. Yeah. And cobras, they always contain anger for a long period of time. Now when you they temper, contain anger. Anger, yes. Okay. For a long period of time. Mm -hmm. When you temper with them, mm -hmm. they make that hood. 
then it attacks you. Oh, okay. Yes. So like they are always bitter. Yes, they are always bitter. Mm. Even when they are just alone, they are bitter. They're bitter. Yeah. Maybe you me. <laughs> I don't know why they, <laughs> some women are like that. <laughs> Always okay. bitter. I don't know why. <laughs> because they they contain that anger. Anger. Yes. But what's the main source of uh, anger issues with women? <laughs> because you know uh, women. Yeah. You know a man. Mm -hmm. A man will always say what is disturbing him. Mm -hmm. But for ladies. Mm -hmm. And I can never see her for a long period. Yes. Then, so, sir, mm -hmm. when you temper with her, mm -hmm. another sir could could try that as Sira. Yeah. Pole pole. Okay. <laughs> and I have a question. Do you yeah. think uh, ladies learn their bitterness from their mothers? From, from their mothers. Yes. Yes. No, so, but it depends. Uh -huh. No, sometimes like my mother, mm -hmm. she might be. She, she, she might be simple mm -hmm. and that as mm -hmm. but with me mm -hmm. I might be that I have that anger yeah. so I don't know how it always be you 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 can't you, you can't inherit that anger from your mother yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <depends>. <laughs> hey, what I like about you is we get to talk about animals and some uh, real issues in life mm -hmm. I'm saying that because uh, there's a research that was done in America it's there on Google Scholar. They also say that uh, the women who are raised by single mothers, they, have they, they are more bitter. Why is that? Because they were never raised by their father. <laughs> uh, okay, do you, you think know, their mother poisoned them to hurt their father? Yes, like their mother used to say, like, your dad, your, your dad was a bad man. Mm -hmm. Now, when you grow up, mm -hmm. you have that mentality that men are bad. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why most <laughs> ladies, most ladies from single mother homes are bitter. Yes, they are always bitter. Is it a good thing to be bitter no. as a woman? No. Why? <laughs> now, why should you be bitter? Mm -hmm. So you have to speak out what is what is disturbing you, and yeah, yeah. you sort that issue out. Yeah. Yes. I want to say when a lady is bitter with you. She'll be the first one to manipulate you using her bitterness. Because if she wants something and you don't provide, she'll be bitter and then for you, for your peace of mind, you'll end up doing it. Not willingly, but manipulated. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, good to know about these things in life. So this one is a very, very bitter snake. The forest cobra. Cobra. Awesome. And it has that falsehood. Yes. Yeah. And it has yellowish, mm -hmm. yellowish, yellowish spots on the neck. Yes, yes. Yeah. Awesome. And here? Here we have nothing. Did it? It's waste. Oh, it's the oh, it, it always moves from there. Okay. Yes. All right. So, great. We are moving swiftly, and I hope you guys are yes. learning a lot. Where are we going next? Okay. Crocodile pond, and this is the map of Africa. Yes. Yeah, and the guys were in Kitale National. Is this National Museum or? Yes, Kitale National Museum. Yes. Yeah, and later on, maybe in the next episode, we'll be talking about the ways of improving this museum to be a world standard museum. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what do we have here? Here we have a crocodile. A crocodile. And. Crocodiles are always pretenders. Mm -hmm. Like you can see, it has opened its mouth. Yeah. It's oh, oh. Its, its temperature. Oh, it has opened its mouth. Look at that. And uh, you can see it, its tongue, its stuck, not movable like ours. Oh, but they, when we were young, we used to argue with my brother. We say the crocodile does not have a tongue. Is it true? It has. It it has a tongue, mm -hmm. but it's stuck. It's it's stuck. It's what? not movable. Oh. Yes. So where where is the tongue? Can I see it? Yeah. Oh, that black one. That black, yeah. It's oh yeah yeah downside. Yes. You see. So it does not it move like ours. Move. It's just yes. stagnant. Yes. Oh yeah, this thing. Why why is why is the crocodile tongue like that? Why can't it move? Does it have our uh, specialization for that? You know. It, it, Crocodiles, they always not chew, mm -hmm. they just swallow. Oh, oh yes, oh. they just swallow. Mm -hmm. 
I guess that's the reason why it has a stuck tongue. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And uh, how old could this one be? It's 58 years old. When 58? You, yes. When you want to count its, its age, mm -hmm. you count the spikes. Oh, the, the spikes. Cubes, yeah. Like uh, the cubes, the lines. Yeah, the lines, oh. the cubes. Oh. The so if you count them, they are 58. 58 when you count them. Oh. And uh, how long do they live? They live 70 to 90 years. 70 to 90 years. They can't live beyond 90 years. Okay. And this one is an African Nile crocodile. African Nile crocodile yes. from River Nile. Yes, from oh. River Nile. Oh. And it's so big. Let me give you guys a closer, closer view. This is how it is. When my camera falls there, <laughs> it will be trouble. This is it. Oh, the most dangerous part is the, the tail. tail. Yeah. How close can I take my camera? <laughs> yeah, I can. Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they, are they used they to handle. Handle. Yeah, yeah. But first, if you handle the mouth and the tail, yes. you are good to go. But this one is a big one. The baby ones we used to just uh, trap the mouth and you are good to go. And crocodile, it wants to move. It wants to move. Crocodile is edible. Yeah. It's white meat. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like fish. Uh -huh. And their nature, they always stay during the day at land. Mm -hmm. At night, at night they go back to water. Oh, okay, okay. And their feeding also, is also done in water. Yeah. Yes. They can't eat while they are in land. Yeah. yeah. They have to go back to water. For it to swallow, the yeah. water acts like soup. <laughs> yes. It enables it to swallow. Its swallow yes. Yeah, and that's it. Most of the uh, flies normally go to the mouth yes. when it's opening like that. Yes. But the, that one is for it to cool down. Yes, it's cooling its temperature. Okay. It's a warm, it's a cold-blooded? Cold-blooded. Okay. But right now the sign is uh, eminent. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, is there another class thing? We saw two crocodiles. We, we only have one crocodile. One, one yes. crocodile. Yes. Oh, and on the other end? On the, we had, a, we had a, another two crocodiles there, yeah. the male ones. Mm -hmm. But now they, they died. Oh, oh, why? See, they fought each other. Oh, they fought each other and died? Yes, and they died. <laughs> last year? No, not last year. Hmm. I guess it was uh, 2019. 2019? Yes. And they buried it? Yes. Here in the museum? Maybe you could do taxidermy. You take it to the National Museum and do taxidermy <laughs> and bring it back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess they had, they, had no, they had no idea of that. Okay. But we were told that they will bring another crocodile. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Because I want to finish this episode. What do you think, because you've been here for some time, what would you recommend for the government? To add up to here. Yeah, to add up here or to improve more here. Okay. Yeah. Because this place has been here. Follow when I was young, time. like him, I used yeah. to come here with Sunday school and... Uh, and talk about the snake park and this crocodile pit and the tortoise pit. Yes. Yeah. And nothing, nothing has changed here. Yes. Yeah, nothing has changed. Okay. Mm -hmm. may, I, may I could recommend? I could, I could recommend the government to put more cages here. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the, if we had a leopard cage, mm -hmm. a lion cage, mm -hmm ostrich because we have an ostrich egg yeah. at the gallery uh -huh. now when when they bring here an ostrich uh -huh. it could be more fun yeah. for the tourists yeah. to see uh -huh. and we, they they can also bring here an hyena uh -huh. like the nature, the nature, nature conservation, conservation. Yeah. Yeah. yes and we'll have more tourists coming to see yeah yeah and we, they can also improve on our crocodile pond uh -huh. And also, I could recommend the government to bring more crocodiles uh -huh. 
like we only have a male, a oh. female, uh -huh. so they can they can bring two. Uh -huh. The one that they can replace the one the crocodiles that died. Yeah. And I could recommend them to bring more snakes. Uh -huh. They can also improve in our structure. Uh -huh. Like they can paint. Uh -huh. They, they, our museum looks that it's colonial. All, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, that, those are really, really uh, very well informed uh, ideas that uh, if the government hears, yes. they will actually, so, yeah. Because I, for Kitale Museum, it has a lot of potential, but now the potential is hidden. Yes. If I were the Minister of Wildlife and Tourism, the first thing I could do, I could dismantle everything. And by everything, I mean everything, even the gate. I, also another thing. Yeah. We need a perimeter wall. Oh yeah, 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 yes. yeah. A perimeter wall. You know, the museum is big, but we don't have a perimeter wall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And to, I could also recommend that we had CCTV all over, oh, even yeah. in this live exhibition sector. Mm -hmm. I think that when we have CCTVs, mm -hmm. it could be of help yeah. to even our security. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. The whole museum does not have any CCTV, yes, it have any and that's how CCTV. the Queen Elizabeth sword and some gold stolen. was stolen yes. there, and it has never been tested yes. up to date. Oh man! Well. Yes. For me, honestly, I could clear everything, and then what I could do, you see, like in Nairobi Snake Park, when you enter, the snakes are well caged and well built, so I could come up because we have a lot of space here. Maybe we could maximize the whole of this space and make a proper, proper modern snake, snake pit, yeah. uh, whereby people could enter and see the snakes, the different types of snakes, the venomous and venomous one, and then the terrapins and tortoise will be somehow in the middle. Yes. Yeah. So as you go around in the middle, there are tortoises, snakes, chameleons, and stuff. And then uh, I could also come up with a. a how do we call it? a marine and freshwater aquarium. So after you see the snake, you go to the marine aquarium. So you are able to see the marine aquarium and the coral life and also the freshwater. Because uh, that one will add more revenue. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And those, of course, on the other end, the gallery needs to be very, very modern. Like you see the gallery in the National Museum of Kenya, Nairobi. Yes. It's very, very, very well modern. And also, of course, the perimeter wall and what you have recommended, they could be good, good recommendation. Yes. Yeah. So, Kitale Museum or National Museum of Kenya, in conjunction with the government through the Ministry of Wildlife and Tourism, those are the recommendations that she has recommended and I have recommended. So, as you go, tell me your name, and uh, if people want to come, they can reach you. Once again, uh -huh. um, I've been a Kesa, uh -huh. I'm a tour guide in Kitale Museum. Uh -huh. So anyone interested in coming to Kitale Museum, uh -huh. you can reach out. I'm always available, uh -huh. but I'm going back to school. Okay. I'll be here again uh -huh. after we have closed, okay. after the first semester is, okay. uh, it has ended. Okay. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And we are joined by... <laughs> Say your name. Levy Amani. Levy Amani. And what do you tell to the people? They should be coming to Kitale Museum. They should be coming to Kitale Museum. Oh, awesome. So, and uh, I go by the name Anoto in China. And I'm winding my trip here in Kitale before I go to Mombasa so that I also document what's happening in Mombasa. Anyway, thank you for following through all my journey. This has been Kitale National Museum and I hope you guys are enjoying. So, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. This is Anoto in China. Can you say that? This is Anoto in China. This is Anoto in China. Say it with a punch. This is Anoto in China. <laughs> this is Anoto in China. How about you? This is Anoto in China. <laughs> uh, in China we say Piaoliang, means beautiful. So we leave at that. Let's see each other in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Bye -bye. Okay.